I heard someone say, gosh darn it, go build a boat once. Ahoy! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You bugger. Oh dear. Man, that's good advice. All right, good morning, mini boaters. Look, I don't normally make videos like this, but what I wanted to share with you is that I kind of went out and bought some props to fit them in Coda from AliExpress, one of the Chinese suppliers. And instead of like 30 to $60 for a Minn Kota prop, it was like nine or $10 each for a three bladed, a two bladed, and what looks like a weedless wedge style. I just wanted to say that I threw one of the three bladed props on. Just initially, it's so darn smooth because of the three blades. Now, I don't know about durability, and it has gone through a few weeds and it's been okay. But I wouldn't call it weedless without any real testing. And um, yeah, the other nifty thing I got going on here. We got ourselves a good old-fashioned uh, speedometer here. All right, it's not really old-fashioned, is it? Okay, so we're cruising along here at 4.5 kilometers an hour in a calm spot. But I just wanted to see, and this is a little, little one by itself. But geez, I can't get that to focus on. So. Albert isn't fast. Even when you add more power, it just makes a bigger wake. We all know that. It's a displacement hull. But how slow is it really? Now, I'm cruising at 50% power on the Minn Kota trolling motor, 40 pound thrust with a three bladed Chinese small prop, about $9. And we're indicating 4.4 kilometers per hour, pretty steady. increased a well, there we go 75 percent power five kilometers an hour oops yeah that's right we gained a whole half a kilometer nope 5.2 there we go we'll update 5.4 oh we're trucking not that bad actually so 5.3 settled out at in this calm area. So do a little turnaround. Now we jack that all the way up to 100%. What do we get? All right, here we go, increasing. Woo! Give her the beans. Twelve and a half volts showing. Five point eight kilometers an hour. Five point six. Five point seven. Five point six. And we've got a good weight going. Kids love it. But oh, five point six, five point eight, five point seven. But we're not, you know, we're not going real fast. So if we bring this right down to quiet speed, say like 30%, 3 point two, three. it's pretty calm here, 3.13, there you go, so at 30% power, it's three kilometers per hour. At 100% power, it's not quite six kilometers an hour. Not a big difference, huh? Now, maybe I'll put those speeds right here in miles per hour. Am I doing that now? Sure, I'm doing that now. <clears throat> it's 
So at 30%, three. All right. If we go all the way down to 10%, we just drift, I guess. Stopped reading, but it did say like one mile an hour. It's quite unhappy now. All right, back to thirty percent. Turn around. Oh, a little crosswind is starting to pick up. Anyway, I just want to show you that. Well, one, the prop is quiet, but two, that's about the speed range you're going to get out of any trolling motor. <clears throat> In a little boat like this, which is a sort of a real tugboat hull, it's not going to go any faster. You're just going to make a bigger wake and pick the bow up a little bit. Kids love seeing the wake. They think that's really cool. It looks really neat when you're chugging along, just like a real tugboat. But, uh, certainly not efficient. So mm, let's assume 30 amps to about 40 amps between 75% and 100% and you're hardly gaining anything. So don't worry about the size of the motor so much. Just worry about keeping the hull nice and slippery and everything will work out fine for you. Anyway, that's all I have minor boaters. Um, Enjoy the day, bros, and late it.